Well, hello and welcome to Jimmerism Total Notary Channel. Today we will build an airplane, so let's go. First, what we do is we can click the B key to get into build mode. You can see there is a little arrow which tells us in which direction we should build. In E we have the different types of materials and we have lightweight alloy, which is excellent for airplanes. It is lighter and stronger than wood. So we will be using this. You can also set up a little symmetry plane so that you can build a very symmetrical shape here. We can switch between different types of build modes with F3, so you can use this pretty handy mode. What we'll begin to do is make a body for the airplane, but what we will not make on this body is the wings. So, basically make a nice little body, but not the wings. Well, I have now finished my little body here. So, we have a body without wings, because we want to place the wings later, as, uh, well, the plane needs to be balanced. Now, I added some glass here. Some types of blocks can see through glass, like cameras. And it's nice to have a little protection for them. So here I will use uh, my detection equipment, of course, inside the cockpit area. We'll begin with making a little AI for this build. So here we have a mainframe. And we have some connectors here. I think we can have the mainframe a little further back, maybe there. That's fantastic. Then what we will add is, uh, we're going to add, we go to detection and then we can add a 360 camera. 360 camera is a great detection equipment. To get it a little bit more elevated so it can see everywhere, we will need to make it stick up a little bit. Fortunately, we can use a laser rangefinder, which takes a very little processing power and it can connect to a camera on top of it. Beautiful. To get some more accurate estimates, we of course want a tracker. So we're going to add a little tracker here. I think we'll go with a camera gimbal tracker. And if you go uh, and select camera, you can you know select G and it will face the direction you want to place it. So here we have a little tracker. Beautiful. Because we have a little space here, we can use the retro reflector or sensor 360 as it just takes a very little general processing power and it's kind of cheap, so we can stick it in D back here. I'll just need to make a little extension up there, beautiful, so it can connect. And it might detect something for us if we're lucky, beautiful. So we're basically going to set up the AI now. So if we go in here and we can select a behavior and well, we can select some different stuff here, but we will choose Aerial bombing. Fly towards the enemy, then fly away. Repeat. Sounds pretty nice to me. Then we'll click on this one so it's active. We can set some stuff here later. We can perhaps set the cruising altitude a little higher. This sounds good for now. Maneuver. Here we can add maneuver. So we should add plane and make sure it's active. Go like that. Sounds great. Now we can close it down. Now you can see uh, that this say it uh, doesn't have enough processing power. Well, that's very unfortunate. We of course need to have some more processing power. Processing power can be connected to it. So we just go here and target and Michelinus and general purpose processing card. It's now connected, not enough, one more. Let's see if it's not really enough. We need one last one more. Oh, and of course, in single player, you can use Ctrl Z to remove something you placed. You can press one there, place one there, I think. Sounds good. We have this inter-vehicle transmitter, which basically shares uh, to other mainframes um, detection info and position info to make it more accurate. I highly recommend you to have this in all your builds. Then it will get some accurate estimates from other stuff too. Now, we need to do one thing more with the mainframe. We go up here, we click Q, and here we have a lot of stuff we can set and adjust. 
but uh, we're not gonna mess with that we just press auto adjust on these two buttons here you see them just press auto adjust on and once like that beautiful so uh, i believe our ai is set up we might need to tweak it a little bit more but there we go please save your vehicle regularly so you won't lose anything if it crashes or something and here we are to make engines and resources and stuff like that so let us go to fuel engines we'll make a fuel engine for this and we're going to make a kind of very minimal engine here just gonna place it there down we have crankshaft down we have a cylinder like that have a little exhaust tube there and then go for some hull pipe there we go nice little exit now we can build on another little cylinder here i think we'll need to make it a little stronger so we're going to have a basically v-twin um, engine here and they can have different x hosts um, so let us also make a little injector here you can see this suction cups that connects to the uh, cylinders beautiful and now we can go and uh, we probably can integrate this pretty well in the hull we can just make a little exos like that okay and what do we need here we of course need some resources fuel storage don't know exactly how much we need but if we have a four fuel engine like this or fuel pack like this it will definitely be enough so we're going safe and having some nice extra fuel great now we of course have resources yes we have ammo storage ammo storage is a little bit scary since they're explosive and stuff um, so we'll, we'll try to spread them out a little bit here we have let's see here one two three four we just have them four blocks apart i don't know if this will be enough ammo depends on how much weapons we add on them let's have another one there so it's central almost central ammo storage it's a little bit dangerous but oh well now i believe we should have one more thing on the ai which is water start completely forgot about that what we do is we go to behaviors and additional routines we'll need a card connector like this card slot we'll need to rotate it so it can fit there behaviors add one there and then we can configure it by going to the ai all right um uh, da -da -da -da. that's the wrong menu additional here we go additional routines here we have ftd water start beautiful water start engaged water start will let it start with balloons uh, or basically help it uh, use the balloons to get off ground now i'm a little bit paranoid about this ammo here so we're going to we're going to put up a little protective barrier there well well i believe we got the main parts so let us put up some barriers there that's kind of long distance and inside of this thing i think we'll go for some uh, we'll go for some more ammo anyways now this might be uh, half wise i don't know we'll see like um, if this two block barrier would prevent a chain reaction or not uh, i hope it will but um, this plane is kind of weak so if it blows up it kind of blows up but um, other than that we're gonna fill in with some more uh, fuel storage because we can we can fill in with just some nice blocks like that how fantastic is that not all right now i believe we can move on we don't need any material storage or repair bots on this like if it falls it falls now you can see we have a little mass indicator in the middle which you always have now take care of that mass indicator because this is what we will need to consider when we put the wings like the lifting force needs to be around here around this exact point 
the lifting force needs to be centered. So seems like the wings will be here. And of course, we don't want to make the same work twice. Use N to set up a little symmetry thing. And the design is, of course, much up to you. So I'll get back to you when the wings are finished. And there we have it. My beautiful wings are made. I kind of like this design element. It's pretty nice. Anyways, uh, of course, we need to have something that will propel this little airplane. And we can do two different things. <clears throat> Either we can basically go into air and go to jet engines and we like use jet engines like this. That works perfectly well. But I often prefer to use propellers and specifically daddy blades. So jet engines a little bit simpler. You can go with custom gens if you want to be a little bit more fancy. But uh, for this one we'll make daddy blades. Okay. So have a little daddy blade in the front here. You'll see them spin right there. That's because the AI is active. You can build the propellers before the AI and you don't have this problem. And then like this. And then like this. And like this. Fantastic. And we want to do the same on, of course, the back side too. Why not have more propeller force? You know, deadly blades, they're not super strong. So we can build a couple of them. Beautiful, there we are, four nice propellers here. Now, we can use daddy blades and not have an engine. Imagine that, sneaky and stuff. You don't have a heat signature or anything. That's very nice if you want a stealth plane. We want a fast plane, so we have an engine. To use this engine power, we go into it and we set motor drive 10. We go to advanced option, and if it's not already spinning for you because I pasted this using prefab, then you need to set this, push your preset. Make sure where it says forward. Go to the next one, full motor drive. And then we have push your preset. And do this for all of them. Push your preset and full motor drive. Now this is unrelated, but you see this <clears throat> uh, um, upwards for fra fraction. You can use this if you make uh, airships and uh, hovering things. You can use it to make these propellers actually make the thing go upwards a little bit. But this is an airplane. We'll use lifting wings for this, of course. It can basically fly without any wings. <clears throat> um, it's kind of powerful. Uh, you can see it's 60 meters per second. So that's a pretty nice speed, actually. And that's why we have an engine and why we have... Yeah. Anyways let's go on to lift now we have built a fairly light airplane like a really light airplane since we used all of it to build it in alloy you can build an airplane in metal and also wood wood and metal is a nice combo i built that before uh, they will be a little bit heavier you can't make them as fast but they will be cheaper on the other hand and more sturdy sometimes uh, any case the more heavy you are the more wings you need uh, and face forwards in the plane's direction and click G so it aligns, the wing aligns. You see the mass here. We want to match our wing pieces with the mass. So I'm going to have one wing surface, like four wing surfaces in total. We'll see, uh, like this is so light that four wing surfaces on this entire thing might actually be enough. We'll add uh, a little, <clears throat> a few more for good measure. Then we have some different stuff here. We have uh, tailplane, elevators, rudders. Tailplane is like a combo unit. So uh, <clears throat> um, because I don't have a vertical tailplane, uh, like a vertical uh, rudder, uh, which you can have, then you can have only rudders there and only um, ele elevators uh, there. But since I have this little thing, I'm going to have a lot of tail planes here and we're going to cover them up later. But this way we should get some excellent maneuverability. Something like that. And now it should be able to maneuver fairly well. We will now also add some alerions. Now alerions, the uh, alignment does matter. So aim your plane's forward direction and click G so it's aligned properly and make sure it really is aligned. Uh, and of course, this makes more 
punched uh, further out they are. So we're actually going to uh, we're actually going to do like that. I think we'll we'll move the wings a little bit inward too. I don't like that. So we can have the uh, like the wing pieces. There's no reason for them to be so far out. They might as well be closer to the center, so we can have alerions on the sides like this. Now you can see it really has some nice maneuverability there. Beautiful. We can add a couple of more of them to. Maybe it has too much maneuverability, but oh well, it's pretty fast and cool. But to not get seasick. I mean, I give you 60 FPS, but you can still get seasick, so let's freeze it in the area. We lack something very critical. This is, of course, weapons. Indeed, weapons are bread and butter. What we live for in From the Depth. What From the Depth is actually about. Weapons, weapons, weapons. A little bit of physics and uh, cool builds. But it's all about weapons. So I think we'll go for some missiles and we'll go for some uh, machine guns. Anyways, you can see our altitude is uh, kind of low here and this is settings in the AI or it's having problem to fly higher. Uh, and if it has problems to fly higher, of course the thing you do is you simply add more pieces of wings and it should be gaining some altitude. If it doesn't, you can go to the AI. Now I use this building mode to get inside the AI here. And here we have the aerial bombing uh, settings here. So we can set it to cruise at like 150 meters. Since it's not fighting right now, these adjustments is basically setting the altitude here. So we can even set it to perhaps like minimum altitude should be kind of high, you know, at least 50 probably. So something like that, probably a good idea. All right, um, minimum altitude above land can be a little higher since it's we might crash otherwise. Great, so there we have it. Cruising altitude when under attack, we have that. Okay, cool. And now you can see our altitude is now 60, 50, something like that. We can add wings basically until it starts soaring too high. If it soars too high, uh, it means you have too many pieces of wings. But if you have too little wings, it will sink. But if you have just perfect amount of wings uh, so that you stay on the same altitude, you will sink fast when you start to get hurt. And remember, uh, like we can freeze this now. And you can see this little, you can see this little lift symbol here. Uh, we want the lift and the mass to be as closely aligned as possible. And we can even, like we can even add wings on top of it, like higher up, just to balance it out a little bit. Works fine. Anyways, that's basically that. You might remember before we added a routine that was called water start. And what we'll do is we will need to add hot air balloon deployers. Otherwise the water start won't work and we just place one on each side like this. If our airplane goes below 15, I think it is, you can go in here too and select additional water start right here. You can select when it's going to activate. And remember that the balloons should be forward and a little above the mass so that the plane when water start is activated will basically be facing upwards and will also be lifting its nose in the air. Otherwise, it won't be able to uh, start very well. And if you have a super heavy build, you need more balloons. Makes a lot of sense, but you know. Let's move to machine guns. Okay, so firstly, what we're going to do is we go to AI and we're going to local weapons controllers. Now this is the little piece of equipment we want to have to control our weapons. Uh, and this needs a connector to both a, a failsafe and a uh, wireless transmitter. I think that in this case we're going to set up limitations for the turret 
So we can skip this fail save for this time, but usually you want to fail a save. Then after you place the local weapons controller, you go to wireless receiver. And that just makes me remember we never actually set up a transmitter. On P we can make them small here so we easily can edit our AI a little better. Okay, this is crammed. All right, there we go. We had to dig out some uh, two blocks in the nose here to actually accommodate all the parts. But now we have a transmitter as well, which means this one, the local weapon controller is connected up. Now local weapon controllers can, connect, can uh, control turrets and otherwise if they are connected directly or if they are connected by one block. So theoretically we can make a little mount and place our turret or weapon block on top of it and then that would work. But we're not going to do that, no. Uh, we're going to place it directly to save some space. So to make our weapon we can go to simple weapons and we can go to light weapons and we can select some kind of um, machine gun thing and just let that be it. But I want to use another simple weapon which I think is pretty much more cool. So we will go to uh, new objects, turrets, to axis turret and spawn it like that. Here we have a beautiful two axis turret. Of course it's upside down because I want it under it. And then you will go to simple weapons and heavy weapons. Now here we have the 30 millimeter assault or 60 millimeter auto cannon. I will go with the 60 millimeter cannons since they are a little bit more compact and uh, fly faster. But uh, well, it's up to you. Like that. Now we set them up. Fantastic. What we can do here, we can go in here and set uh, it up. Yeah, this one. X and enable extra constraints on a field of fire in vehicle space. Here we can set limitations. Basically limit which angles it can fire in or not. And yes, don't go into the weapons, instead go into the two, uh, two axis turret instead. And here you go to the settings. Now that should be set up nice and safely. Now we don't have a fail safe, so be sure to set it up so there is no risk it can actually shoot its shoot itself which would be terrible when you don't have a face uh, uh, when you don't have a, a fail safe like that then we just need to do the same thing on the other side if you want to test it you can stand on the wing so you're close to the weapons and since we set up the limitations on the turret we can try and shoot ourselves basically and we can see that uh, it seems to not want to shoot itself, so we seem to have set this up correctly. But this is how you test it. Beautiful. Oh, when they don't want to cooperate, you can select flip anti-smooth here. If it's, you know, if they are in the wrong way, just so you know. Well, when that is set up, it's high time to do a field test. Uh, save your vehicle first, of course, and spawn a harmless enemy, like the Marauder, who possibly can't even do anything against us. And just make sure the guns seem to work as they should, and that everything flies nice. The next step will be to add bombs or missiles to spice up our arsenal a little bit. Ooh, lords, that was close, actually. All right, let's get some bombs going for this beautiful airplane. Now you can see I've digged out the wings a little bit to accommodate the missiles slash bombs. Put some more ammo here in the tips of the back wings. I think that can blow up without we actually lose control over the aircraft. Then inside this here, flyover height, I, 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 height, I set this to 10 instead of zero so it, flo it flies less close to our targets. Anyways, set up a little symmetry plane here and uh, basically what we're going to do, we're going to have both missiles and bombs. 
but we're going to make different versions. So this is going to be the bomb version, uh, which we'll make now. So let us take a uh, missile controller, put it there. And then we can have connectors like that, should be good. And uh, well, now this system will basically be controlled by the same uh, local weapons controller. You can see it's just one block away, so it's actually controlling it. Two weapons, it says. That's beautiful. Just what we want. And inside here of missiles, um, well, we'll set up bombs, of course, but um, we can either choose small or we could choose the large. No, not large. Medium or small. But like the amount of ammo that the missiles take is absurd. So I think we better just go with a small system, to be honest. Okay, we have launchers and we have gantry. We first need a launcher. I'm going to use this rail uh, launcher for aesthetic reasons only. And I think we should have it just like that for cute bombs right there. Fantastic. And then we can also have a little gantry so we can make them bigger. Just like that. And I think that's the final length of them. We'll be fine. Now these are bombs. They're not going to have any very advanced seeking features. So we don't need any um, IFF identifier, friend or foe. Now that's basically that. Like we don't want too big of a system since, uh, <clears throat> well, Missile takes a lot of ammo, and in that case we need to fill up the wings with ammo, which would make us a very beautiful but expensive firework, so I think we'll skip that. This is our system. Okay, so we first need to configure this little small rail launcher here. Here we can see this is the current uh, setup. To set up a bomb, it's pretty simple. We go to... Uh, da, 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 da. We can set it in the front utility here. We can see magnet. It won't have any fuel or anything like that. So we can say explosive warheads. Just like that. We don't need any uh, thruster or anything like that. Uh, we can just have explosive warheads. Like this is the most simple type of bomb. We can have fins on the bomb and one turn. We can have one turn and fins on the bomb. Uh, otherwise, it will flow to the target. But now this is the classic bomb setup. It's better. Otherwise, we need some kind of uh, better tracking device, I believe. Uh, this will just uh, float to the nearest structure. It's not like metal or anything, just like that, you know. And here we see this side is, of course, uh, not set up. So we just copied it and pasted that. And if you go in here, <clears throat> you can see that half of the Myself, it only copied one gantry. We can save it also and of course load it, but well, I guess this is quicker. Now we have it. A mine. Uh, or a bomb, I mean. Okay, so to make the bomb actually hit the target pretty accurately, we'll need to do some adjustments. And here we see core enable extra constraints on the field of fire. So here we are again, we need to set up some pretty advanced angles here. Uh, and uh, sadly we can't, or we can, oh yes, we can make this more great. Marker size, make it like that. Um, azimuth is doesn't, don't care about that. We only care about elevation like this. I think this is good. And then we just uh, control C go over to this side and control V and we have the same, same type of setup. Now that should be decent, I hope. Well, I suppose we don't really need to mess more about with the uh, body of this thing. So we can actually uh, cover this up. And you might also wonder how do we cover up these ugly things you have in the back here, the tail planes and whatnot. Well, Weirdly enough, you go to decorations and then you go to metal plate and then you go to alloy or metal. Now, the stats of these metal plates here, uh, <clears throat> they're kind of very similar. So, uh, using the lighter one, 
we hope to be faster and uh, maybe we can avoid some shots but of course this is more for decoration than anything else so you could <clears throat> argue that these ammo blocks here are kind of exposed we just kind of hope that it doesn't matter too much if they blow up something like this absolutely beautiful now it pains me a lot that there is unutilized space in the wing here <clears throat> but um, I kind of want to at the same, the same time I feel it's a bad idea to fill up with missiles no uh, ammunition for the missiles or <clears throat> um, bombs but uh, yeah one can always use a space like this to upgrade later so yes there we have it well it's high time to save it and let's see if it even works that's good thing to test from time to time if your thing even works here we can see the first salvo's bomb is kind of okay now you can see that the ones that are ish close in the vicinity will start to see hmm, a thing and they will magically glide towards it with magnetic powers and that you can see it even deals some damage and stuff just to have four more tiny bombs thrown at it now you can see we have a little lack of fire from the machine guns here and i believe that the metal plates uh, the metal plates we placed actually unfortunately blocks the guns movements even though they should not if they were actually calculated precise but i think that the collision is basically a full block maybe so we'll need to remove them and this is exactly why we test shit this should be the offending block oh and it was I'm not sure. Oh god, these bombs are they just hanging here or what's happening? Oh fuck! So, big part with From the Depth is making adjustments until things work. And here we can see we had the offending block there, removed it. I think we'll need to uh, remove these alarions here, put in a beam here instead, and we can take one of these alarions here we can place them there instead replace them there so we have them at least i try to remove this little um plate covering this one in case that that was the offending block and yeah since we have this highly infuriating um free space here i think that we have some engine power over and i think we we'll should do like this we go to resources ammo processor we're gonna add ammo processor on each side and then we go to material storage we're going to add material storage to each of the sides we can add one more and we also go to let's see here miscellaneous and there we have repair bots let's have two repair bots on this build so it can self-generate a little bit let's see how expensive they are 50 let's have let's have uh, four in total great and then we fill up the last one i think we can put in a little, a little fuel box here all right that sounds great or is great Let's cover this thing up. And now, let's try it. Now we're talking. The machine guns are walking. The bombs are falling. Now this is actually a pretty formidable airplane. Uh, I believe. I think it's the best airplane I made. So you can be confident that uh, I've taught you. <laughs> To the best of my ability <laughs> by the way if your bombs get stuck on your ship you can prolong its uh, arming time uh, ray launcher warhead arming delay we can change this to like uh, two seconds instead and we'll get a little better chance of not getting hit remember to save now you can see it tends to overshoot the target a little bit 
And how to fix this? Well, what we do is we can change the angle. You know, when I show you the angle on the missile controller on when it should drop the bombs, we can change it so that it drops the bomb when the target is a little more in front of it. And then we can mitigate this problem, even though it doesn't always overshoot. So you'll have to tweak until you are content. Tweak to your heart's content. Now, I'm not a huge fan of mirror, uh, of mimic blocks but I've placed one here and I've set it to be a beam so it basically covers up the propellers a little nicely. Now this is optional and uh, don't waste too much time on mimics because that will probably make you crazy but uh, well there you have it now I've shown it to you at least. Mimics are of course under decoration and what kind of person doesn't paint their crafts I just started but anyways you can see here we have added some beautiful paint here and uh, I also moved the camera down here because it was here and now it's a little bit weird but if you put the camera here and you have a block all the way here that is blocking it then the site is blocked backwards so that was a waste of space to have it there so I better have the tracker there and we can get some better trackings instead much better so that I've done. And well, we should now indeed install, instead install some missiles instead of bombs. But first we're gonna save this. All right, so we don't need to do any very advanced things, but one thing we need to add here. We will just steal this Alerion and then we'll go in here and instead of that Alerion, we should add a friend or a foe identifier. Now what we want to do is we want to take this missile controller and we're just going to remove it and place a new one there so we don't have some weird uh, limitations. 45 degrees should be just fine. And then we go down here and go back to build mode so we can see properly. Here we have gantry and we have the launcher. Now what's really nice about this type is that we can have gantries both front and back. So we're gonna have some uh, decently um, long small missiles here. I think this will be just fine. Maybe they're a little too long. That should be good. Now you can set it up a little bit differently here, of course, but we're going to have a short range thruster on this one. Then as you probably can see here, there is an infinite amount of different combinations. So um, you probably will not make the exact same missile twice, I would just test around a little bit and see what you like. You can use different types of guidances, but for this one we'll use an infrared seeker since it wants to, I want it to take out other aircraft more uh, specifically. We also need fins. Let's have two fins there. Uh, I never tried this one actually. A pin guidance will actually use this uh, general processing power to steer the fins towards the target a little bit. And let's throw that in there because why not? Or maybe up there. Uh, there is something called one turn which will face the enemy like when it's launched. Should be pretty reasonable to have that. Then to make it even more maneuverable, let's get some uh, turning thruster in the front there. And uh, well, I suppose the rest will be, well, fragmentation or explosive. I think we'll go with a little combination. Uh, fragmentation and explosive. Something like that. Free internal space used for high explosive. All right. There we have it. If you have a lot of missile besides, you can always use this copy function here. In our case, let's go here and uh, save it as IR, save, beautiful. Then we go down to this side and we just uh, load the IR. All right, so now you can see it's the same, we just set up. Oh, and I want to chance on another little thing as well. Let us uh, remove another little Alerion here, just so that we can put a staggered fire add-on on. So we can make them have a small little delay between the different four missiles we fire. 
I'm going to change these weapons to the more fast firing 30mm auto cannon. Uh, well, just for fun. Oh, like that, and for the rest of them as well. Well, let's save it as its own version, and we can just change the name here. Like that. Now I should be completely honest with you, I'm not the missile expert and I will come back with a missile tutorial dedicated when I feel uh, more confident. But I've been trying around a lot of different things now, as you're doing from the depth, as you have to do. And I've basically changed this. I changed it to a variable thruster, only one fuel tank, two turning thrusters in the back here, one fin, a regulator to make the lifetime of the missile longer, a target prediction guidance to help it a little bit better to intercept the targets, and, well, still Infra Seeker, uh, I found was kind of the best setup. So, uh, yeah, that's basically the setup I made. And it seems to be working like pretty well with my uh, little modified missile there. You can see that uh, usually one of the missiles do hit. So I'd say at least it's a decent setup. Uh, it's a decent missile uh, to intercept other air targets. Um, the missiles are very agile to turn towards the target, but they have a little problem of uh, hitting the last <laughs> In the last seconds there uh, but uh, well usually one of them hit and I'll, I'll say that's pretty nice at least I think that we covered everything now so good luck with building your planes and I hope I see you in future videos it has been really fun and I'm really happy with the Bane and well um, also the lighter 30 millimeter cannons uh, can move around perfectly fine and they are a little bit sharper against other aircraft I must say and well as I said pretty happy with the Bane hope you do very well with your aircraft builds and uh, well see you in future tutorials thanks for watching this is your host Jim Odesen Total Notary Channel signing out